We are using up the last of the harvest. We are talking about frost warnings. We're using our green tomatoes because there's no chance they're gonna go red. And this is always a dilemma at the end of the season. We're in a panic. We're like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? My tomatoes are all gonna freeze out there. Leave them on the vines or pick them green and bring them in to make our latest recipe on a protective diet for chow chow. This is an old fashioned recipe when fermented, but you might see this relish with vinegar and sugar nowadays. But we're going back to the old school recipe, the one that's loaded with probiotics. And we're using up our green tomatoes. They get delicious. And that protective phytochemical in green tomatoes, read all about it on the chow chow recipe. And we are including green tomatoes, red or green cabbage, green pepper, red or white or sweet onion, and corn, which the corn really speeds up this fermentation because of the starch and the sugar in that corn. You can use one, one corn cob or half a cup of frozen corn if you don't have it still growing in your garden. And this relish, I wanna show you how I'm using it today with Jerry tonight on our feast on a protective diet. We have our bread maker onion loaf, O M G. It was so good coming home today. <laughs> oh my gosh, we were gone today and we came home to the smell of this. It smelled like a sandwich shop. We were like, oh my gosh, is it time to eat? But I also have a lot of greens in my garden. I have this Japanese flowering kale and collard greens. This one is thousand head kale. And I've topped it off with a salad I made this morning. This is a, a take on the epic eggless salad on a protective diet. That recipe is a top rated recipe. If you haven't tried it yet, go for it. And I steamed this these greens, all these leaves of greens, using the dry steamed <laughs> kale method in the Instant Pot. Check out that recipe. It's a free recipe on a protective diet. And I put my salad in there and then I'm going to top it off with some ferments, with some chow chow because this relish is so tangy got a little kick, a little spice if you want to add in the jalapeno or the serrano chili or the fresno, whatever you've got going on in your garden, in your freezer. And I add that protective chow chow in there to season it up. We could add a lot of different things to this. We have our probiotic pepper sauce. We have our mango habanero or just our classic hot sauce on a protective diet, both fermented. Maybe if it's for Jerry, we're gonna add some yellow oh, mustard. Oh yeah. Okay, that's what Jerry likes. That's his, that's his thing. That's my jam, I love yeah. the yellow mustard. Thanks Jerry, that's your jam. But you can see I have lots of different ferments going on here, I'm preserving my garden, but I wanted to give you this tip of how to use chow chow. You could layer it up on bread and just eat it straight up like that. Jerry would call that a meal. Mm -hmm. He'd be like, yep, give me half the loaf. I'm good to go. And this is a refrigerator door recipe. So this chow chow, it's all chopped and ready and waiting for you. That's one of the benefits of the fermentation recipes on a protective diet. So this green burrito we have here, I made these a long time ago with AJ. She stayed at my house in Chicago and we made green burritos stuffed with, I can't even remember what we put in there. It's more about the sauce that recipe was, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, we made it? a sauce together, but this is my green burritos, and I love these, but I have to add hot sauce to mine, of course. There's a little jalapeno in here, but not enough for my liking. And this is the way I like to do it, table size. So if you're dining with people that don't like spicy foods, make the probiotic pepper sauce, and then you have this handy for your spicy food training because capsaicin is so protective. We want to add that into our diet slowly, but surely you're going to begin to love it as much as Jerry and I do. I didn't always. Jerry introduced me. 
So I want to show you what I have on this platter from my garden that we could also slip into our burritos or on top of our onion bread with our chow chow. I have some pickled okra. If you haven't tried that, oh wow, oh, wow. You could use, well, I need to put out a recipe actually for fermented green beans and that would give you a really good base for the pickled okra, but it is delicious. It's full of all of that probiotic filled brine. So when you bite it, it just sinks. So I have some edible flowers on my platter here. We could throw those into our burrito. That's a nasturtium. We have marigolds. I have parsley. This parsley is so garden fresh that it's delicious and tender just as it is. Nasturtium leaves, carrots from my garden. Those are just for eating on the side. Jerry and I harvested our first soybeans. We covered our whole front lawn with a food forest of soybeans and okra. And here is my pink okra. And okra is so delicious raw. If you haven't tried it, if you have a chance to pick it, grow it, or get it fresh, it is amazing when it's tender and raw. And then I have a lot of my fall garden coming in of red leaf lettuce that seeded itself and grew back from last year. I'm so grateful. So that's what's going on tonight on our feast on a protective diet and I have cantaloupe from my friend Loma's garden and grapes from the store and that's about it. I have pickled pepper rings going here, some probiotic pepper sauce that will be ready on Friday and my green beans and lots more jars of the chow chow because I just can't get enough of this crunchy fast ferment on a protective diet. Take care. And best of health.